you can see that. Like no, just introduce. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shannon, and I'm an international student from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm also an international student from Trinidad and Tobago. And we were best friends slash roommates in first year in Storm, Storm Residence. Um, we lived in a double room, 724. It was good times. <laughs> good, good times. Interesting times. Yeah. <laughs> My first impression of Shannon when I walked in, um, all I had was two suitcases and she had everything already laid out. I just thought that she was super organized. I had my water, I had my groceries, yeah. I had my sewing kit. <laughs> she had a I had kit. A <laughs> she had, I had a tool kit. <laughs> she had an extension cord that I could wire the whole entire building. <laughs> Honestly, she had a lot of stuff and I didn't know where I was going to go. Um, I had a lot of stuff, deal with it. What was your first impression of me? I thought you were so tiny and cute. <laughs> I, thought yeah. like this, I thought you were just like this timid little flower. Woke up on the right side. For living in a double room, I found it was good. I, I just had a friend all the time and I could just, uh, like I didn't feel like alone during Frost Week because Frost Week, um, I felt um, you know, I didn't really know a lot of people and I was a little bit shy, but when I came back to my house, I had somebody to like talk to or I, I took Shannon used to come to events with me and you know, so I didn't really, I felt like I always had like a friend by me, so that's that was good, true. living in a double room. It was a good support system, I found, because I mean, especially in your first day, because first day everything yeah. seems new, everything seems unfamiliar, but at least if you have that connection with one person at least, then it allows you to branch off and meet new people, it allows you to have that safety net to come back to and I think it was, to me, the best thing I could have done was have a double room in my first day. The, bed. What's up with this? the Lysol. Why Lysol? When I got sick. Oh, <laughs> you always bring that up. I don't know, if it was funny or if it was scarring. <laughs> Every time I'll get sick, she would like spray my bed with Lysol. So, yeah. Lysol. My soul should be everyone's best friend. <sighs> what I did catch her doing, one time I came back from taking a shower and um, she was recording herself singing on the phone <laughs> and I kind of just stood there and she's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then I was like, Shannon, she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in song inside my head, hands up. I really wanted a double room in my first day. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, I really wanted a double room um, just because um, I wanted to come out of my shell and not be so shy anymore and like Shannon helped me like you know just break down um, yeah. my shyness barrier and like come out of my cocoon. If you're down to get down tonight. Once. <laughs> yeah, wait which ones are you talking about? Wait, there's more than once? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there was just one time. I was supposedly late. But to me it was just a few seconds. I am never late. Yeah, Shannon being late, she's like, yeah, it's like one or two minutes. It was an hour. Cause it's always a good. I know it's intimidating, the thought of having a double room because you're sharing your space with someone, but once you set up rules in the beginning of stuff that you like or stuff the other person does not like and you'll you know, communicate and compromise, then it was fine. We didn't have any problems. Yeah. Really. Yeah. We got along well and, you know, we were able to have our separate spaces and my stuff on one side, her stuff on one side, and then you decide what you want to share and you decide what you don't want to share. Yeah. I slept in all my clothes. I didn't really have any friends. Um, I think we have mutual friends. Yeah. I think we have, uh, yeah, yeah. Mutual so friends. it kind of worked out. Because we all our friends came over at the same time. It didn't care. Hopped into I think our first month in, um, we had a roommate contract. Um, like, I, I think it was an, an event that my dawn held for us. Yeah. And um, it was a really cool event because my dawn had like, um, like, what do you know about your roommate so far? And um, then she allowed us to like set ground rules and we signed off on them. So that, um, and then Shannon and I put them up in our room so we knew like, what boundaries not to cross and um, how to you know be respectful of the other person's space and as well as their time as well. So mm -hmm. that helped. Yeah. Can't take me anywhere. I'm um no. no. Yeah. We did not. No. I thought yes. No. 
Um, Guess not. <laughs> no, we didn't. Shannon and I had like different sleeping schedules, but when we did sleep at the same time, she talked in her sleep. Sometimes. Like three nights. Three nights. It was like every night. She talked in her sleep. Every night. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. If you're down to get down. No. Yeah. Yeah, and first yeah. No. <laughs> No. Never. It's always a good No, I don't think you had any pet peeves. Um <laughs> I think one thing used to annoy me, um, when she would she would tell a story and I already knew what the story was, but then she would have to tell her mom, her dad, then her grandmother the story, and then she'll tell her four best friends from back home the story. I don't want to listen to a story for like five hours. I've already heard it once. She had a boyfriend in first year. So let's just say I had to endure late nights on the phone. Oh my gosh, baby, I love you. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you. More. I love my boyfriend, honestly. I, I think Shanna loved him too. <sighs> Amanda and bananas. It was so frustrating. She couldn't stand the scent of bananas. So my potassium had to suffer. And I could not have any bananas in the room. Honestly, bananas are disgusting. That's it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, it's like, <laughs> yes. I know we disagree on some stuff, but I know we went yes, to social events yes, together. Yes, we went to social events together. Okay, yes, we did. Man, I can't go on any rides. Shannon, it's okay. It's okay if we don't go on rides. <sighs> Fine. We'll just go on whatever ride y'all want to go on. Yay! Yay! I get to go to Wonderland! I get to talk to my baby on the phone! Yay! <laughs> that was her baby voice every time she got excited about anything. A baby voice? Not all 